Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. A short time ago I visited the Oregon State Fair. There's a wood turning booth there that I visited and spent some time with a fellow who is making mushrooms. So it's time to make a mushroom here for me also. I have this piece of apricot and normally would do a mushroom in say this section here. For this fellow however he was making it a little bit off axis and so I think I'll leverage that and see how it works for me and see if I can't take advantage of a bit of this limb coming off here and maybe make the uh, the cap in this area here to include that knot coming off that side and the base coming down this way. We'll see. It may change. Let's go. Well it changed almost immediately. The first piece that I cut off had a problem with a lot of checks and it disintegrated so I moved on down that branch and, and picked another spot and started tooling it. Then when I got started making the tenon and found a bunch of rot in the end there and had to find out how deep it is and figure it out. So, okay I have enough and that, but oops there it goes. I took that opportunity to just cut it off a little bit more and let's see if we can get it. Then it has enough of a base to withstand the pressure of tooling with that much in the air and, and this hard of a wood. It is green, but it is not especially soft at this point. So tool it down. I did want to keep the bark, so I applied a liberal amount of CA glue to try and keep the bark on, and then used the parting tool to try and cut directly down into the wood uh, through the air space. That worked pretty well. And then used the, a bowl gouge to shape it a little bit more. Oops, a little bit of rot, add some more CA glue, and then back to work tooling it. The hardest part is trying to tool under the cap, in my opinion, because you have partial air uh, with the irregularities of the wood. Tried a uh, small spindle gouge to get in there. It actually worked best in a, in a scraping mode. I didn't use my round nose scraper because it, I needed a point to get in under the base. So uh, it worked out okay, continued with the small spindle gouge to get a little bit more out. And then I'll switch over to a big bowl gouge and, and hog down the base and, and to get a more delicate stem on this piece. So, but continue, you know, work on that underside of the cap. It's probably the, the hardest, most dangerous part of this, most risk of splitting it off. work that cap a little bit more with the small gouge. Still have the bark, then hog it down, get the stem close to where it is. Then I still need some practice with a skew, so I'll, I'll uh, attack that uh, the stem with a skew and just plane it off with the skew and the planing cut. Just get beautifully smooth wood and and very easy to do. A little bit easier to get smooth wood than say with a gouge. However, I'm not one of those that says a skew is only good for opening paint cans. That's, I'll use whatever tool works and that I'm comfortable enough using it. So then take the cap off so now I'm only supported by the chuck so any cuts from here on out have to be much more delicate. No rough hogging down because without a dovetail on the end of that I'm not confident that the jaws will hold it applied my mineral oil and axe mixture that I picked up from Ellie Avicera. It worked well in the sanding even with the normally dry sandpaper. A little bit more clog out perhaps, maybe I didn't use enough oil and wax, but uh, it still keeps the dust down and out of my nose and nostrils. And, and Whoops, there went the, uh, the bark. Can't recover it now. And then if you don't think that there's a reason not to use a cloth and to only use a paper towel. You just saw a couple. When you don't think it'll happen, it will. So if you're wearing a glove or using a cloth, it can catch and it can tear your hand off if, if you're not careful. So don't use a cloth, don't use a rag. Here it is, finished product. Just one, but different views of that. Turned out quite nice. It will change a little bit as it dries, but that's the nature. If you have something you'd like me to try and demonstrate, that I'll do. Let me just, just let me know.
And here's Gets Away From Me. Normal speed here. And that's where the bark goes. Oops. <laughs> Paper towel goes. Makes a little windmill for a while, but I'd rather not be holding it when it catches. 